Hello and welcome, thank you for tuning in, this is the NZ Radio Guy. I'd like to show you how to, today how to build a VHF Marine JPEG antenna. Uh, here's one I made earlier, as you can see it's uh, very uh, compact and you can um, you can coil it up. It's perfect for an uh, emergency antenna. All you need is a 300 uh, ohm ribbon cable, something similar to this. I used to use it for um, TV antennas and so on. Um, uh, about 1.5, 1.32 meters of the stuff. Um, 50 ohm coax cable, four meters of 50 ohm, and a uh, plug. Most radio, most radios have a um, UHF line socket on them, or something similar to this. However, if your radio has something different, I suggest you put something different on it. <laughs> okay, um, here are the, uh, the design for the radio, uh, for the antenna. Sorry. Um, the antenna is uh, 51 uh, inches in length and it has a 15 inch um, secondary element. So this is your um, your ribbon cable here. These are your two, um, so here, these are your two um, uh, cables and your ribbon, ribbon, um, ribbon cable. What I want you to do is that you want one that's 51 inches from here to here and one that's 15 inches. But take into account that you've got to leave a little bit extra out here to be folded up. Um, let me explain. Folded up to cross. So here's the base of your antenna. You need to leave enough to be folded up and soldered there. Okay? Because you want this to be joined down along there. Um, next, what I want is a, um, you want your coax cable to be 3.6, oh sorry, 3.96 meters long. You want to cut that and bear your, um, your center tap and your braided core. Now your center tap is going to go to your long element and the braided core is going to go to the short element here. Um, so, but those have to be soldered on to the aerial 1.5 inches from the base. So 1.5 inches from that bend, 1.5 inches, solder them both there. Um, center, center core of your coax on the big large element, long element, and the braid on the short element, both at 1.5 inches up. Um, now you may be wondering why your coax has to be 3.96 meters in length. It's because it's um it's uh, maximum performance for this band is at that length. Um, you can make it longer, but it, it wouldn't work quite as well. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I have a little uh, suggestion. If you put your plug on first, it makes it easier to check that it's all connected correctly. Cause then you can uh, connect a um a uh, multimeter up and check that there's no uh, cross um, short circuits in your plug because once that the um, once you've soldered your coax onto the uh, aerial um, the power runs through and it it whatever you do it will act as if it's a got a short circuit so right there having it connected um, connected through this here but if it's if it's short circuiting up here then you got trouble anyway um Hope it hope it works good for you. I found they're um they're good, they're nice, simple, easy to build, and they're um yeah, they're very compact. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. This is uh, NZ Radio Go Going Clear. Thank you very much. Have a good day.